Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and I wanted to put together a video to accompany my review of the Impatient, talking specifically about the controls in this PlayStation VR game. Now if you do want my full verdict on the game, then do go elsewhere on the channel, watch the video review, um, because that has some more opinion on the game itself and the story and all that sort of stuff, so do check that out. In this video, I'm going to specifically talk about the controls. Please also remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation. PlayStation VR content, and then let's get into it. So there are two control options available in the Impatient. You can obviously use the DualShock 4, or you can use two PlayStation Move ones. Now I'm going to start with the DualShock 4 because that's the easiest place to begin, um, and it works quite straightforward really. You use the left stick to move forwards and backwards. You can obviously look around using the virtual reality headset itself, but you can also use the right stick to turn in increments, or you can do full rotation. Um, and I'll I'll get into that in a, in a second um, but if you also pull down on the right analog stick you'll do a full 180 degree turn like in sort of Resident Evil 4 or games of that ilk so you can quickly run away if you need to um, like I mentioned earlier, you can turn in increments, um, you, you, but you can also do full free rotation, um, and you can change the size of the increments too, so you can make the increments bigger or smaller, uh, depending on whatever you prefer. I personally like increment turning. I know not all of you like it. I like it. Um, I did try the free rotation as well. It works fine, so you've got a lot of options for you there. The one problem with the DualShock 4 is that you don't have full motion control, you don't have ind independent control of each of your hands, um, so while you do get a torch later in the game, you can control that using the motion controllers in the DualShock 4, it's not like you can kind of reach out and pick everything up quite the same like you can with the PlayStation Move. Um, so let's talk about the PlayStation Move then, when you're using the PlayStation Move, you obviously hold a controller in each hand, and these re represent your in-game hands if you like. And this gives you a lot more control options than the DualShock 4 does. You can turn on light switches, you can pick up books and look at them, and you can kind of do some of this with the DualShock 4, but it's a lot more limited. You can't, like, hold a book in one hand and point a torch at it, which is something that you can do with the PlayStation Move controllers. Now, the PlayStation Move controllers obviously lack analog sticks, so the way it works is you kind of hold the Move button down on the left PlayStation Move controller to move forwards. Now if you want to turn, you use the right PlayStation Move controller and kind of point to the left or the right, whichever direction you want to turn, and then you push the Move button to trigger the kind of rotation. Now you can again use free rotation if you want, or you can move, or you can rotate in increments. Again, I prefer increments. If you want to do a full 180 degree turn, then what you do is you use the right PlayStation Move controller point it backwards like it's almost over your shoulder and then press the move button and you'll turn fully around. It sounds quite cumbersome, it sounds quite complicated but I got a feel for it very quickly and the game is also very slow paced so I feel like it, it suits this kind of control setup fairly well actually, um, I was quite comfortable with it to be honest with you. So yeah, those are the two control options available. I personally recommend you play with the PlayStation Move. Now you can experience everything that the game has to offer with the DualShock 4 if you don't have PlayStation Move motion controllers, but I think the the ones add uh, an extra level of immersion in this particular game and it's cool being able to pick everything up and look at it and inspect everything and stuff like that. So I prefer playing with the Move and I actually found the controls in terms of movement. While it does sound complicated, it actually I found it works quite well, so yeah, it's a good game if you want to you can put those PlayStation Move controllers to use, um, and yeah, check out my review elsewhere on the channel for my thoughts on the game as a whole, because I do have some criticisms of the actual game, but control wise I just wanted to put this out so you could see kind of how the game works with both the DualShock 4 and the PS Move. Let me know which controllers you're going to use in the comments section below, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation VR content, with all of that said, thank you so much for watching.